In this video, let's go through the Layers dialog box, Layer Properties dialog. You open it by clicking this icon, and in here you'll see all of your layers, their status, whether it is an empty layer, active layer, or being used. You have the ability to turn layers on, freeze them, lock them, choose whether it's plottable, and change the obvious things like color, line type, and line weight, whether the layer is transparent, and whether you want to freeze it in the viewport. We'll go through that in another video. In this drawing, there's 218 layers. First thing I want to go through is that you should be using a standardized naming system for your layers. It's beneficial for you. It's beneficial for using some of the tools we're fixing to go over. And it's beneficial for your other teammates to find things. The AIA has a default naming format that they recommend and it's basically just groups by practice a uh, overall group and then the layer type and so forth and so on you may have noticed that Autodesk has adopted this naming system that's why all of these layers are in these groups like this well there's 218 layers in here, and if I want to switch back and forth, I've got to scroll up and down and find them and all that good stuff. There is a better way, and we will use layer filters to help parse this down to more manageable pieces. Now, because these are grouped and they are standardized, we're able to do this. If you're just making layers on the fly, this won't work. We're going to come over here under filters and we're going to right click and we're going to say a new properties filter. And what this does is allow you to create a name for filter. So we're just going to put CN over here. And what you can do, you can filter by any of these properties color, line type, freeze on, off, however you want to. We're going to leave status alone and focus on name for now. It's hard to see on my eye, on my screen, but that icon is an asterisk or a wildcard. I'm going to type C dash anno. You notice that it's dynamically updating the filter. And the wildcard means that anything that starts with C anno, ignore everything after it, or pull everything after C anno in the filter. So if I hit OK here and I click C anno, notice that, that only those layers are showing. More importantly, if you're working on drafting and creating your drawings and everything, and you're working in a specific group, let's, for in this example, we're getting ready to start annotation. If I have this filter selected, when I close the layers property box, or put it on another screen, however, when I come up here to change my layer, only those layers appear. So now, when I'm trying to use this dialog to quickly change, I don't have to see all 218, only see those in the filter. And same as applicable for here if you have it pinned. If I flip over to another template here, my standard design template, and I go to layers box, there's over 400 layers in this one. So it includes all the civil 3D layers and then all of our custom layers where we have took and done the same thing. Done it by required, what they are, and then some layers. And I can quickly pass through them this way. Now, if you are not utilizing a standard naming system for you and the rest of your team, then these won't work. So it's important to determine that and everyone agree to conform as best they can to uh, this naming system so you can utilize this tool and some other ones that we can go over in a later video. Now in this notice that I'm in my required utilities. If I come over here and says oh what I need is not here I'm going to make a new one. All right click and I say new layer. It shows up. If I go to Ciano and I right click a new layer, it shows up. If I go back to this template where we just made that one, 
and I do the same thing. If it will let me. Oop. There we go. It does not show up. It made the layer. If I go to all layers, somewhere down here in the L, I will have a layer of one. But it will not show up in the game of the dialog box. Notice that by default, the program creates all new layers, and it begins with layer and then a number sequentially as you make new ones. Okay? So let's edit this filter. So if I come over here and I go to, maybe I'll just double click it. I would recommend you always add a second tier with that layer in it. And what that does is that, yes, it's going to show these two that I just made. Let me delete them. But more importantly, I'm in here and I see I need a new layer. When I go to new layer, it's there. And I don't have to flip out and go down to layer. So I would recommend always having that layer while guarding all of your filters so that when you create new stuff, it just makes it a little easier. This video is getting a little long, but let's real quickly go over the difference between on, off, and freeze. Graphically, both of these things do the same thing. They make it come disappear from your screen or be visible on your screen. In the background, in the program, two totally different operations. On and off, the light bulb does exactly that. It makes it disappear from view just so that the human being cannot see it. Just that simple. Freeze, on the other hand, turns it off so that you don't see it, but it releases it from the memory of the program. In other words, it's not going to try to re-render. It's not going to try to keep up with the civil 3D properties of that while you're zooming in and panning around. And more importantly, what that achieves is it speeds up the operation of the program. If you've ever been in a drawing with a lot of objects in it and you're panning around on the screen and you see your mouse oddly enough being real janky around on the screen like it's trying to snap to objects that aren't there, it's more than likely because you have a layer off and not frozen. So the primary thing to keep up with is on off is exactly that. Freezing is it forgets about it. If you were to freeze something and, re and regenerate the drawing, it completely releases it from its memory, so it's more assets on the computer, less stress on the assets of the computer, and better performance all around. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe and leave comments as you see fit.